Yes, so here we are. Um, excuse the echo, we're in a large room today. We um, are back in the building for an awesome more moment. Yeah, this is it. So um, this is Christmas week. Well, we week should be seeing Christmas. that. Well, we're recording it. Well, actually, Christmas yeah, week. Depends, we know that we're going to see it, but it's Christmas week. Hence the Christmas tree in the back. But it is what it is. It's all good. Um, so yeah, so today we're going to answer a question which came into a... Look, this is so bad. Now, here's another tip. This is an advice, a bit of advice. I'm going to give to you guys for free. Not that all the other bits aren't for free, but... Whenever you're out and about, Mm -hmm. Networking, you're chatting to people. Don't stand with your hands in your pockets. Oh, really? It's not a good look. It really isn't a good look, is it? By the way, hands out, hands oh, out, hands out. I was out wondering where that was going. Don't put your hands in your pockets. So, this week is a question on stain removal, and I'm going to read the question. It's a bit of a long one. There's a bit of a compliment in there. That's why I'm going to read it, because obviously, who doesn't like compliments? So, it is what it is. I just wanted to compliment you on such quality videos. Thank you. You bring a very interesting dynamic to the table and it's very refreshing. But I wanted to also at the same time challenge you by asking you if possible, would you be able to give better insight on what to do in the event that you're completely dressed up, as you are right now, mm -hmm. completely dressed up and you somehow get a stain on your suit or pants. I'm guessing he's from the States because he said pants. Or could be Australia, to be fair. Yeah, I went or Dan Ander. So literally, it's just outside of the UK. Outside the UK, so you get, <laughs> yeah. you get a stain in your suit or pants. What's the best course of action? Should you use water to blot out the stain, or do you have any other recommendations for detergent when it comes to washing to prevent ruining your grey pair of trousers? Boom. That was a long question, but it's all, all right. good. We get it. I but think you've got the very gist. Very pertinent and relevant. All right. Yeah. yeah. And you know what I mean. It's All a straightforward right. question. It's a very straightforward question, um, but there's two parts which are dependent on the answer. Cool. So A, it all depends on the material of your trousers. Interesting. So for example, if you have the polyester suits, the off the, which you, off the peg suits, which aren't natural materials, um, then yeah, I guess you, you could wash them and that's where you can get rid of the stain. Okay. Um, okay. My suggestion would be take it to a dry cleaners. That'd always be my suggestion. But if you've got a natural fiber suit and it's uh, a wool of some sort, 100% dry cleaners. Um, I had the problem myself and it was so annoying one time. Mm -hmm. I'd literally just got my suit back from the dry cleaners uh, because I had another stain on it because you don't take your suit to the dry cleaners unless you have a stain on it. Um, and I was drinking just a Lucozade or something and I got the smallest little bit of stain on the trousers. I was like, I'm not taking these to dry cleaners again. I got a bit of a wet towel, I put water on it, tried to blot it out. I got a bigger wet spot on my trouser than I started with and I had to take it to the dry cleaner. So since then, I know that if I have anything which stains my suit, dry cleaners is the first call because water is only going to leave a watermark on your trousers. That's interesting you said that. So this is the thing, I miss, this is the thing, I read, or when I read, I said I have a red eye interpreted his question differently. Okay, go on. So I interpreted this with the question as either being he's out and about, yeah. He's eating it and like, literally it's on me right now. What do oh. I do right now? Shh. No, but then he mentioned detergent. He did. He did say that. So I'm thinking he's probably thinking when he gets home, maybe after that bit. But what do you okay. do in that instance? You just dropped a new bang. The only thing you can do is pat it. Pat it. Don't rub it. Just get a tissue or something. Pat it and try and get it off. But the stain's there. There's you know nothing what? you can do to get rid of that at that point. This is the thing, right? In, in my opinion, I may be wrong. We may have this to ask Jeeves. So this is the thing, right? I rarely, I, it's rare that I put food, I get stains on my suit. Like I, I'm, I'm quite careful when it comes to, um, yep. to how I eat when I'm wearing a suit. Spaghetti, if I've got, you know, messy spaghetti could just flick everywhere. I tend to like to try and cover up a bit more. So I tend to rarely get stains on my actual suit. If anything, it might come on my shirt, maybe a little bit of my tie, maybe, but. In my experience, right, because I rarely get stains on my clothes, I don't tend to do this, but what I have heard works, club soda. But are you on about 
just a shirt or something or your actual suit material? Actual suit material, this okay. is what I've heard has worked. I've heard these things work, so as long as your suit material is natural fibres as well, I think I've heard, this is what I've heard works. Now, uh, We should do some scientific tests before we start putting this I'm not gonna, out there. I'm, this is the thing. Because we don't want to be blamed for ruining No, this anything. is the thing, I've already put this game out and I said I don't okay. do it myself because I cool. don't get stains on my suits. However, this is what I've heard works. I can only go off what other people do because they put stains on their stuff, on their suits. I don't really do that. I know, for example, um, away from that, if you're at home, I heard white vinegar works. Now, the only thing I'll say about white vinegar is white vinegar has, white vinegar has a scent. So mm -hmm. potentially, if you're using white vinegar, you have to probably use it on something which you're gonna wash afterwards. So for example, if you're gonna wash your shirt in the washing machine, right? So what, you could be use white vinegar to get the stain out of your shirt and then chuck it in the washing machine to get the vinegar out after you've got the stain out, if that makes any sense, right? So white vinegar first removes the stain. Throw it into the washing machine removes white vinegar. Oh man, I'm just, either way. But look, either way, look, either way, those are the best, that is the best advice I can give you for that because personally, yeah, I don't really get stains in my stuff. Yeah, don't, I mean, don't get my me wrong. My hands in my pocket, what's going on? There, there are occasions where accidents can happen. Oh, Little spills definitely. and all sorts. I'm not judging. But it doesn't happen often. I make sure if I'm out and about and I'm sitting down eating, Jacket comes off more often than not, yep. and then you napkin on your lap, cover that trousers. Yeah. Um, and that, that's why I don't need to take my suits dry cleaners very often. But again, things may happen if you do dry cleaners. If you can't get to the dry cleaners and you just need to take it off, my advice is just blot it. Joshua says, as he said, he's heard, there's other methods too. There you go. So, get the stain out. It's possible. Yeah. Listen, it's possible. let us know. Oh, do you know what, actually, no, what I have done, and what okay. I can say for a fact works, right? What used to work, right, for me, if I, back in the day when I was first wearing ties, silk ties, mind you, right? When I, I used to get stains on my tie, right? Because I used to work in hospitals, I used to get them little, I used to borrow alcohol. them little alcohol wipes. Ah. Them little alcohol wipes. Okay. Worked a treat. Yeah. That will probably I work on trousers because that evaporates. That works so it won't leave a stain. I think even then, there's been times where I get into my car, if I've just been driving, obviously just been driving or something, and I've used a petrol pump and I want to clean my hands afterwards, I will use the alcohol wipe and it's dropped on trousers before, but I've never, I've never really paid attention because I know it's going to evaporate very quickly and no residue. So yeah. So there you go, there alcohol you go. wipes. Try alcohol wipe if you don't run to the KFC and get... <laughs> Again, actually, disclaimer. A disclaimer, you can't yeah. even run KFC because they've got like scented ones. You yeah, know, you their want one's not the real. proper alcohol, yeah. you know what I mean? You the real proper stuff. Don't don't just get them hand ones you get from the chicken shop. Yeah. That's, those that's those are just scented. They don't, yeah. they don't clean your hands. Uh, I don't know about those. those they want fresh actual, wipes. Yeah, actual real, yeah, yeah. real alcohol inside it. By the way, there you have it. Listen, let us know guys, if you guys have ever been in that situation and you needed to clean your trousers or whatever and you've got an effective solution that you know works, leave us a comment. Tell us. Simple. Yeah. Simple. So Tell everybody. There Let's you go. It. We hope you enjoyed that video. Continue to watch our videos, continue to like, subscribe and comment on every single one. We appreciate every single little thing you do for us. Yeah. Or you do for the community, not for us, it's for the community. Exactly. And Please continue to send your emails into us at ask and what want to come. And continue to interact with us on our several social media social media streams from Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and that's it. That's it. I said it like there's gonna be one more, but no, that's it. I know. You See said you next Facebook, time. right? I did. Okay, you said it all. Cool. Until next time guys. Doing so, I'm looking at yourself. Yeah. That's what, that's what have. you should be saying. What I should have. Now, I need to read the question. The question. No, this is this is the no thing. thing. Taylor, Jeeves, Taylor's. Oh, yeah, anyway. Oh, that's He's an expert Taylor's. Oh, wait, this is the thing. So, it's another expert Taylor. That's interesting. No, sorry, expert dry cleaner. Oh, yeah, not Taylor, dry cleaner, dry cleaner.